hello hello we're on a car vlog so i am going on a sewing trip and i in my in one of my videos i talked about you know you're rural if you go to town use the words to town i'm not going to town i'm going to sac now sac to me is anything in the sacramento area i'm not even going to sacramento i'm actually going to elk grove that's where my sewing store is i ordered a couple of cutters so i'm gonna go pick them up while I'm there, I'm going to go to Michael's, Joann's, and High Fashion Fabrics. So it is a sewing trip, and I thought I would bring you along. All right, here we go. So if you've never car vlogged before and you have your own channel and you want to try it, this is just my phone. It's I've got two hair ties to my rear view mirror, and I'm half my rear view mirror is still available to me so I can see out the back, plus I still have my side mirrors. So... It's not really impairing and I don't have any special equipment. Maybe I should get some, we'll see. You know who I love the car vlogs on is Rana Lynn from Hawaii. If you ever wanna just see what it looks like to live in Hawaii, go look at her channel. She does a lot of car vlogs. I just love her. She's so cute, oh, love it. And it's neat to see Hawaii. I don't live in Hawaii. I may never go to Hawaii. So go to Hawaii by watching Ronna Lynn go shopping in her car. It's cute. So it takes me an hour and a half to get to SAC, any part of it. Some of them areas that are past SAC take me even longer. Luckily, this area is right on the edge, so I'm not going to have to go as far, and it's all country roads the whole way. The whole way. And not as curvy as this one. Uh, this is only half the drive from my house. We're in the lower elevations already. I don't know if you can see out the back window, but this is where we had the Butte fire about six or seven years ago. We still have the remnants of that, kind of ghosty with those trees that got burnt up. It was a really bad fire, national news fire. We were evacuated for seven days. Many people lost everything. It's so sad, we were lucky. Okay, back to shopping. What am I looking for? Uh, actually, I'm, I do have a list of things I'm looking for. I need some more serger thread, and since I'm getting my serger parts, it all made sense to get that at the sewing store, because I know they carry the uh, maxi lock. Is that what it's called? I just need some basic colors that I'm running out of, and I want it now. Uh, also, one of my cutters is stuck, so I want them to unstick it. Did they, they, they just screw it in too tight, or do I need a special kind of screwdriver that's not in my little kit? So um, I'm gonna ask them that. In high fashion fabric, where fashion, where the fabric's really affordable, so you can get a lot of like trial fabric. A lot of my uh, muslins and tester dresses are out of the fabric from high fashion because it's not always top quality, but it is very affordable. So I'm going to look for some slinky stretchy to use for some of the um, patterns that just need something with a really good drape. And I'm always looking for any kind of. Um, fabric for my new cardigan pattern which I'm wearing today and that brings me to Joann's I have this on so that I can try to find this fabric again turn this off Ooh, it's getting hot already so I'd like to find more of this fabric I wouldn't mind having two of these sweaters I just love it I wear it all the time and I wanted to be cute today I was gonna wear boots and a blue jean jacket and I couldn't do it I opted for comfort Big comfy, comfy sketchers and my comfy sweater and my comfy hoodie hugs. I just want to be comfy. <clears throat> I did fix my hair, so there's that. But it had to be done today, so there you go. Um, I'm also going to Michael's. I'm looking for a wedding runner. So it's white, kind of plastic, and you're supposed to walk on it when you have a wedding. It's the aisle runner. And I couldn't find it on joannes.com, and I couldn't find it in my Joann's store. So I'm going to look at Joann's, I'm gonna look at Michael's. If I can't find it, I'm gonna order one on Amazon because I got a tip from Andrea Chapman. She's got a channel called So Spire, which I just love. And she recommended it for like, it's super white, so you can lay it under for tracing and I think it would make a great backdrop for photographing. And I've got a couple of patterns that I'm working on for my Etsy store, so I want to have a nice pho photograph backdrop. So that's, I'm looking for that. And that's it, and then I'm coming home, and that's all in one little area, so I don't have to go very far. But the best part, 
of this trip to SAC is I get to have in and out for lunch. <laughs> if, you don't, if you're not from California, you, it, you're like, I'm going to say, if you know, you know. Isn't that funny how they say that? If you know, you know. Well, if you don't know, it's a really cool uh, fast food place. It's in California where everything's fresh. Like they cut the potatoes while you watch. There's like a window through the drive through and you can see them making all the food and they cut the potatoes. The lettuce is off the, you know, it's off the lettuce, head of lettuce. None of it's like from the freezer. It's pretty cool. So uh, it's delicious. It's delicious. You're gonna hear people talk about In-N-Out. Well, I will show you In-N-Out. I will, I will show you in the car vlog, In-N-Out. It's pretty cool. So here's me driving. I'm going to at some point pull over and turn the camera around so you can see some of the drive and hope to not run my phone battery down. So welcome to my car vlog. Well, I'm sorry, it's crooked. My hair bands don't hold this as well as I wanted, but I think you get the gist of this. So this right here is, uh, we're going down to the river to pass over the bridge. And they call this 13 corners. And I've never counted to see if there is 13 corners, but it is very curvy. And the way to do this is to just go slow. And I think a lot of times people just get in a hurry or they're not local and they don't know that this is a dangerous road. Phone might fall. Might not get to see this. Not going to fix it. Um, so anywho, 13 corners. We'll see if you can see any of it. sick yet it's different in the car it's not that bad it's my favorite view of Butte Mountain can't really take a picture because it's trees in the way for photography but it's my favorite view of Butte Mountain
that 13? Anybody count? On your right is Butte Store. This was a store in the gold rush days. Now it's just a relic. That concludes this portion of the tour. Okay, so I'm in line at In-N-Out and this is a big parking lot next to In-N-Out. The line goes way down there and you can't even see the In-N-Out. Oh, you can see the palm trees. See the palm trees over there? That's for the In-N-Out. There is always a line. Right now it is 125, so hardly lunch rush. Always a line, but they're so good at moving it fast. Three things I would say the rumors about in and out that are true. The food is really delicious. It's super fresh. And it, there's always a line around the block. Always. And the staff is actually always friendly. Always. So those are the three things you can know about in and out Burger. This, this line will be moving very quickly. They have people standing outside. In, they walk up to the car and take the orders to make them go really fast. So that's in and out Yum, it's gonna be good. A couple more things about in and out It's just burgers. They always have these palm trees. They're always in an X. I heard the owner loved that movie from the 1960s. It's a mad, 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 mad world, which I love also. And that's why they have this. And yes, in and out Burger does have a secret menu that you have to know about. And I'm not really sure what it is. My kids order it, something called animal style. Don't ask me, no idea. But there is a secret menu and it really works. in and out was delicious. It always is, always. And I left the sewing machine store he fixed my, gave me my new cutters and my, one of my cutters was stuck. I couldn't get it out and he, he had trouble getting it out. He was going to show me, but he had trouble getting it out. So, um, we visited and that was my serger that was getting worked on. And then I said, show me some machines. I want to know, you know, what to put on my wish list. Um, I don't have, you know, a high quality machine. I'm not complaining. I have, I, my machine works great, but what can these machines do? Um, so he walked me around, showed me, and we visited and talked, and he's been in sewing machines forever. He's the same guy who sold me my Viking Amber Air, and um, there was a used faff, and it was a trade-in, and it looks brand new, and I got tempted, and I'm going to go back and buy it. Hubby's transferring some money so I can go get it, and I got a really good deal. It's according to the guy <laughs> selling it to me. <laughs> But I'm super excited and I can't wait to share it with you. Very excited. Klaus. How you doing everybody? We Hi. are in Elk Grove Sewing and Vac and we are buying a new machine. Mm. New to me. New to her. New to me. Not new. New. But uh, Klaus sold me my Viking Amber Air, which I love. So I trust him. He's got that built in. Yeah. Tried and true. So why do you think this machine is something I'm going to be excited about? I mean, I'd say when we go back to future right, or history, right, Faf is an old name. But it's lately it's connected with Viking, so they merge together. So same maker. Same make a bit. Different factories. But at the same time we have a built-in walking foot Ooh. or in the uh, dual feet system, what is exclusive on FAFs or high-end machines. And a lot of the old ones you have to buy an attachment. Here you get it all with it. Open sleeve has a nice extension table with that. Top and it loading. Has a cutter, automatic has cutting. an automatic cuts the thread. We don't need a scissor anymore. And all that kind of comes handy and makes it life easier. And nice. it's also, you can see, pretty color, nice purple. Very, very pretty. All the stitching you can see right It's going to look top. good in my sewing room. I think so. I, I'm not <laughs> been there yet, but I'm sure it's going to look good. There. 
I want to thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate you're welcome. It. It's nice talking to you. All right. Hope everybody have fun out there. Okay, we will. As long as we're sewing, right? Sure. Any questions? I'm. You always can call me here too. Okay. For From all questions. over the world. Everywhere. <laughs> so we can talk German if we need to sometimes. <laughs> we got Tori. We got some other girls here. Roxanne. Oh, it. It's and international, Julian. right here in Elkbrook. Yeah, you can call. We got Spanish talking guy back here too. <laughs> so we may not slack on that. And. Anytime you're welcome, or give me a call. All right. Well, thank you something. very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All thank right, you. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Well, I'm on my way home about halfway, I think, uh, on a, high, a country highway. That's behind me is Rancho Seco. It's an old power plant that doesn't work anymore. There's a park around it. Be it's going to be a beautiful sunset. And I just thought I would show you a little of the halfway point. It's a vineyard. That's kind of a new thing the last, say, 10 years or so. Looks like they put in a solar panel farm here. It's huge. It's acres and acres. And there's the towers. And so that way is Sacramento and that way is home. And you can't see it from here unless I zoom. A little there, right? There's the High Sierras covered with snow. They have so much snow up there. Can you see it? When I'm driving up this highway, it just, at points, just looks like the road goes forever. I wish I could show you.